Praise the Lord. Blessings to everyone. I am happy to be with you today. This time wherever you are, God is going to speak to you. So God when speaks to you, you must believe because when the word of God falls, when it comes upon you, what happens? It will change, change everything. It, it will change your attitude. It will change the circumstances. So whatever you have been praying for a long time, so beyond your imagination, beyond your expectation, God will be able to fulfill your heart's desire. So today also, I welcome everyone, those who are watching this uh, live video, welcome Brother uh, Leonard Richards, more grace upon you. The power of the Lord is upon you. So you are going into the next level. Hallelujah. I see uh, many uh, people coming to you. Your uh, ministry is going to become worldwide. I see like that. I see a parachute. Hallelujah. So there is a way for escape also. The enemy may be chasing, but there is a way of escape. That's what I see. Uh, that's what the parachute signifies. More grace, more anointing. Hallelujah. So I welcome everyone, those who are watching. Hallelujah, Sister Clary Offrey. So uh, today morning I am here. So to minister by God's grace, I am here. So uh, God's grace is upon everyone. So do not turn back. Do not look back. Just move forward. What you have, do that and the rest God will do. Some people will be saying, I am not able to do something. I am not able to do this ministry. Many, many young ministers I, I, I know, they say, we, don't, we do not know how to start the ministry. We do not know how to do the ministry. So we are waiting. But uh, what you have to, what you can do, you do. What you cannot do, the Lord will do. Hallelujah. How many of you? So to everyone, maybe you, you don't have any money to construct a house. You have only something uh, to lay the foundation. So what you, what you can do, you do by faith. The rest uh, God will do. Hallelujah. But you must uh, be in God's will. That's the only condition. God's will means you have to obey the word of God. So before coming into this uh, live video, I am going to pray for you. Father, bless everyone. Bless uh, this uh, live video, Lord. Holy Spirit, speak through me. Let it bring forth blessings and deliverance. Let there be accuracy in prophecy. May the power of God, fire of God be released right now. Delivering everyone in the name of Jesus. Coming, bringing everyone to Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Amen. <clears throat> so I welcome everyone. Sister Carol Smith, Sister Clary Offrey. Uh, the Holy Spirit is upon everyone. So God is taking you into the next level. How many of you say? So today, this time also, I have a word to share with you. That is from uh, the book of Romans. I am going to read it from the book of Romans chapter 3. Hallelujah. It is the 11th verse. This word uh, Holy Spirit gave me yesterday night when I was uh, reading the Bible. Holy Spirit gave me this word. Chapter 3 of Revelation, the 11th verse, it says, Behold, I am coming quickly. Hold fast what you have, that no one may take your crown. Praise the Lord. Here the verse is saying, Hold fast uh, what you have. I am coming quickly. Hold fast what you, what you, what you have. Unless somebody will take the crown from you. So what does it mean? It means that uh, those who are hearing this word have a crown. So the all the verses said in the Bible are for everyone who reads and believes. Not for everyone who reads but everyone who reads and be believe. So all the verses are for everyone who reads and believe. So I have read this um, word and I believe that I have a crown. How many of you say Amen? That you are also having a crown. That's why Jesus is saying, Behold, I am coming quickly. Hold fast what you have, that no one may take your crown. So there is a crown for you. So uh, maybe you, you, if you have vision, you are seeing that crown. If you, if you are a man of uh, vision and you know the plans of God, you can see the crown. There is a crown for you. 
so you know um, uh, jacob and isho he lost he lost that crown because of his hunger for uh, food we, we know that actually uh, jacob wanted to bless uh, isho but he was hungry and he lost his crown he lost his uh, right of uh, uh, right as a brother as a elder brother he lost it. he lost it because of his hunger for his food so the blessing went to jacob hallelujah you know that so here the verse is saying uh, we have a crown so we should not lose our crown we must have a revelation that uh, we ha we have a crown so every time when we go every time when we move every time when we do in our mind we should have a knowledge that we are having a crown we should not lose it we should not lose it by a, by our speech we should not lose it by our character or or uh, by our attitude so uh, we must be having a, a faith that we are going to get that crown so here the verse is saying hold fast hold fast what you have that no one may take your crown that's why in the beginning i told praise the lord in the beginning i told that what you have you do that some people are still waiting to do something but if you are in god's will if you are in god's uh, uh, obeying the word of god then you are sure that uh, you 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 whatever you do that will be a blessing how many of you know that you are uh, in god's will if you are happy you are in god's will if you are satisfied you are in god's will whatever you have whatever you have if, if you are satisfied in, in that that is, then understand that you are in god's will maybe you are not having much you are not having too much but what god has given you what 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 all things you have what the family the setup the ministry everything everything that you, what you have is what god has given and if you are satisfied so for what god has given then you must understand that you are in god's will hallelujah so if you are in god's will you whatever you do that will be a blessing that's why this verse is saying what what this verse is saying what you have hold on hold on fast to what you have let somebody will take the crown hallelujah so today i am telling you that what maybe you have only little money to do something to do the business or to do the ministry or you have only uh, some uh, money for the ticket but you book by by faith the, the rest god will provide hallelujah so by faith you have to move abraham left his place without knowing where to go or uh, how how god will provide because he he, had, he was a man he was a rich man he left his family he left everything he left his parents everything but god said now move now go now go out so he left everything so what he had what abraham had he had no he had no only a little wealth when he left his parents later by uh, because of the grace of god abraham was blessed later actually abraham was born in a rich family but he left everything he left everything means he didn't keep something from his parents no god doesn't want him want abraham to take anything from his parents so he left everything so when he left everything he had nothing you must understand but he had something what was that he had faith he had faith that's why without knowing where or what he left his uh, place hallelujah so god counted him as righteous today maybe you are having nothing in your life but you have a strong faith you have an unshakable faith that faith is enough to destroy everything all the strong force that faith is enough to destroy the evil power hallelujah how many of you believe you you should want an unshakable faith if you have that unshakable faith no enemy can come near you whatever you do that will be a blessing every day you will be blessed day by day the people will come to know that you are a blessed man of god because you are in in god's way so you are exercising your faith i am reading this hallelujah what i have read behold i am coming quickly 
Hold fast what you have, that no one may take your crown. Hold fast what you have. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The fire of the Lord is upon everyone. Hallelujah. I see the fire burning upon everyone. It is breaking the curses. Receive the anointing of the Lord. Hallelujah. Those who believe are going to the next level. Those who say by faith, Lord, I believe. So then you will be moved to the next level because it is the grace of the Lord. How many of you understand? So do not be dismayed. Do not turn back. God is going to reposition. Hallelujah. Sister uh, Brooke Brandon, sister. Brooke Brandon, sister. I see, I hear the word repositioning. That means you have planned something and you have been go going in one direction, but God is repositioning. God is uh, changing. Hallelujah. I see a Appa Genoval, Appa Genoval, a financial breakthrough in your life. Hallelujah. Uh, I, I hear agriculture implements. I do not know you are related with some agriculture, but I hear the word, uh, I hear the word, um, agriculture implements so god is going to implement something god is going to bring birth to something so it is going to happen in your life hallelujah so do not be dismayed let the power of the lord come and move everyone into the next level what you have you hold fast don't wait for don't wait for anything but what you have abraham had only faith he, when he left his parents he had only faith but what Lot had he had no faith so he was not able to enter the promises and what he had he lost everything Lot but Abraham was being blessed day by day because he left everything by faith so he sticked on to his faith he held on to his faith so God gave him a crown this is what what I am saying so how many of you believe that all those who are watching if you believe that since you are a child of God since you are a child of God there is a crown for you so hold on what you have hallelujah what you have hold on maybe it is faith or maybe it is a small place some people some people call me I want to some people call me through telephone they call me uh, brother, we wanted to start a church, but we have only a little place and only some a few chats. So they are waiting for the big place. They are waiting for many chats. Hallelujah. But I tell you, what you have? What you have? Maybe you are, let the people come and sit on the floor and you praise God. God is able to extend the boundaries. So do with what you have. Don't wait for God. Don't wait for God to get all the blessings. Hallelujah. God will give you all the blessings on the way. Hallelujah. Abraham didn't leave. Abraham didn't leave the place. Abraham didn't leave his parents waiting for all the blessings to come to Abraham. So when God said, Abraham leave. What did Abraham? He didn't wait for all the blessings to come. Uh, God told Abraham, if you move, if you leave your place, if you leave everything what you have, if you leave your parents, I will make you head, not a tail. I will make you a father to the nations. So he didn't wait for Lord to see him becoming a father. He didn't wait for him to become a leader or a, uh, or a head. But without uh, seeing anything, by faith he moved. So he, he moved by what he had. He had nothing but he had a faith. He had an unshakable faith. So what you have, what you have, you do and the demons will flee. The demons will tremble. I see the fire of the Lord coming and breaking the chains and let everyone move. Let everyone do for what you have. God is going to bless your family. Hallelujah. It is going to, the anointing of the Lord is going to overflow. It is going to spread into your na 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 neighboring places. Hallelujah. So everything is in control. Need not to be afraid. Hallelujah. I see <laughs> Patricia sister. I see a caller. A caller means a reputation is coming. A reputation is coming in your life. I see a caller, a white caller. It is a reputation. The grace of the Lord is upon you. 
so the grace of the lord is upon you so what you have done you will complete many things you have started by faith but it has not been completed i see many things broken on the way but holy spirit is saying move by faith and uh, you have invested many many things uh, on the way but it won't lose because the grace of the lord grace of the lord is upon you <coughs> hallelujah a great change is coming uh, upon you brother lionard richards a great change god has chosen you for a revival uh, the crown i see the angels putting the crown it is you are going for a revival not only in your place it is going to spread i see like that so move move by what you have and stretch out with what you have and you will see the greater dimensions in your life hallelujah hallelujah the property judy colin sister the property is coming in in your name maybe you do not have any property you are planning to buy a property the property is coming in your name hallelujah i see a financial deliverance sister curry offering hallelujah hallelujah so speak uh, everyone speak to lord lord touch me let the grace of lord come upon everyone breaking the chains hallelujah in the name of so what that has been broken it is going to be changed and something new new is added to you what you have you only have faith only you maybe you are having only little but don't be stagnant do with what you have the rest god will do hallelujah i see everyone is going to be blessed in the next level so the grace of the lord so again i am reading what i am what i behold i am coming quickly hallelujah behold i am coming quickly today today god is going to touch you today god is going to touch you hallelujah the words how many of you believe the, uh, so you must have a revelation when the bible says something a word it is speaking to you behold i am com coming quickly so what you are waiting for it is quickly coming it is quickly coming today itself in this hour in this minute i see watering hallelujah you are going to charlotte down sister you are going to be a blessing to many hallelujah 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 you are going to be a blessing blessing to uh, uh, many so i see the water in the basin is uh, overflowing to the neighboring places you are going to be a blessing what you have if you start and what you have you move with that and you are going to be a blessing in the name of jesus hallelujah shakarama god is going to extend your boundaries so i am coming quickly hold fast what you have that no one may take your crown hallelujah how many of you understand how many of you understand oh shaka bara ma sikime in the name of jesus <coughs> so many prayer requests you have been uh, filed before god many petitions are before god today holy spirit is saying that if you believe the crown which is for you nobody will take if if you stick on if you hold on to what you have then god will do the rest so uh, i see an immigration <coughs> sister myra moris i do not know where in which country you are i do not know from where you are but i uh, when i looked at your name i hear the word immigration that means uh, maybe you are going to immigrate to some other place or in the place where you are you are going to immigrate i do not know but it is coming very soon so uh, by faith you move and god will extend the boundaries hallelujah so uh, lord is making everyone prosperous lord is making everyone a blessing to many because the grace of the lord is upon everyone so today everyone those who believe in the word of god that jesus is coming quickly he is going to touch you he is going to bless your family he is going to make you a blessing to many 
Hallelujah. So Abraham left everything, believing the word of God. So he didn't wait for the blessing. He started moving and he became a blessing to many. So today, how many of you are listening this word of God? What do you have? Maybe you are writing something, planning to write. Sister Sinia, Sini Maria, I hear you are going to write something, a letter to somebody. But write and post and the reply will come. This is what Holy Spirit is saying. Hallelujah. The financial breakthrough I see. Hallelujah. Sister Kimberly, I see a financial breakthrough. The pot which has been, the lid which has been closed, it is open and you are going to the next level. I see people coming and helping you. A breakthrough in your life. Oh Shaka Barabi. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. <coughs> so I am going to pray for you. I am going to pray for you. How many of you believe? So, Jesus said, I am coming quickly. So, today is the day. Today is the day. God is giving you more wisdom. <laughs> Maybe you are, you are saying, I, I do not have the wisdom. But God is going to give you wisdom. God is going to give you power. God is going to give you uh, the anointing. Then what you, what you do not have, when you start, you will be blessed. This is what, what happened to Abraham. So when Abraham left his place, they saw on the way Sodom and Gomorrah, and Lot found Sodom and Gomorrah as a blessed land. With his external eyes, he saw Sodom and Gomorrah as a blessed land. But Abraham, he had nothing, but he had only faith. But on the way, when he left, God gave him wisdom. So by the wisdom of God, Abraham realized he had a revelation that if I take this Sodom Gomorrah, it will become a curse to me. That's why he stayed back. He said, Lord, my, my son, if you go north, I will go south. If you go east, I will go west. That was the wisdom. So this wisdom he achieved on the way. Hallelujah. So on the way, God began to give him many, many blessings, uh, cattle, everything, riches, children, everything. And he became a father of the nation. All the promises came to his life. It happened in his life. So today I am telling you, what you have you do and the rest God will do. So I see a financial breakthrough. Jump, jump, hallelujah. Be fast. Jump, sister, Sri Maria. This is what Holy Spirit is saying. So a breakthrough is coming. Hallelujah. A breakthrough is coming. Sister Jenny. Hallelujah. I have heard Holy Spirit is saying. I have heard your cries for a long time. But uh, Lord is saying. Uh, I see a wall. A wall of separation. I see the enemy won't come near you. I see a wall of separation between you and the Gentiles, between you and the family also. The family may be against you, but God's protection is upon you and they will come to you. You won't go to them. They will come to you. Hallelujah. So Holy Spirit is saying, the Lord is grace is upon you hallelujah I, I see an increase in anointing to everyone so i am going to pray for everyone hallelujah hallelujah i am going to pray for everyone let us close our eyes father in the name of jesus father in the name of jesus shakarama let everyone be blessed what they have what they have lord let them uh, hold to what they have you give them grace Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let you touch everyone very fastly as you have said. You said you will come quickly. Let the grace of the Lord be upon everyone. Hallelujah. Let the crown be placed on their head. So as they to be honored before everyone. In the name of Jesus, I protect everyone from all diseases, all contagious diseases, from all coronavirus, protect everyone. Let a wall of fire be around everyone. Let all the people who have diseases be healed right now. Those who are in wheelchair, those who are in hospitals be healed right now. Those who are waiting for financial breakthrough right now, the grace come upon and increase everything, increase in everything. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Hallelujah. So, God is going to bless everyone 
in this group in this page those who are watching because you believed what god has said god has said that you are there is a crown for you how many of you saw what is that crown that is your promise of the lord that you will become a head you will not become a tail you will lend you will not borrow and many many, many things when the, those you when you are in this world and also in eternity there's a crown waiting for you so you won't be in the gallery you will be in the uh, pulpit you won't be in the back seat you will be in the front seat you won't be in the queue you will be in the seat in the right seat so the grace of the lord is upon everyone i see everyone being blessed so god is going to make you a blessing to many people hallelujah fire hallelujah let the fire of the lord come upon everyone let the anointing of the lord come upon everyone those wherever you are if you say receiving the power of the god the power of the god will come and it will come and fill you with the holy spirit let everyone be filled with the holy spirit a breakthrough a financial breakthrough to everyone position changing hallelujah in the name of your position are changed into the next level so the grace of the lord is upon everyone hallelujah so i thank everyone those who are watching hallelujah so i thank everyone those who are watching this live video i will be coming uh, in live next week in this page same time so um, uh, god's grace will be upon you so see see there's a crown on your head and not only you are seeing others are also going to see and they are going to come to you because there's a crown on your head and that crown has been given by jesus and you are doing everything by faith whatever you do that will be a blessing whatever you touch that will be blessed wherever you go that place will be blessed because you are having a crown hallelujah how many of you say to everyone to everyone those who are watching this live video if you say believe if you say amen it will happen to you because the crown is for everyone those who read the book of revelation chapter 311 to everyone not to a particular person to everyone there's a crown so meditate that will become helpful when you are in the confused situation when you are in doubt whether to do something whether to move whether to stay whether to construct whether to build something when you are in confusion but you meditate the word hold on hold on to what you have then god will do the rest god will do the next so i see the power of the lord coming upon everyone so stick on to this word may god bless you by this word may god bless everyone those who are watching hallelujah and increase in anointing and increase in the power of the lord you are going to see visions clearly you are going to see the break breaking the chains of your family i see you your family is going to bless the members are coming to you and you should not go to them and they are coming to you so whatever you have lost you are getting back your ministry is going to widen you are going to be ministering to the people to the gentiles throughout the nations i see you traveling ahead i see many breakthroughs because you are carrying the crown of the lord so sit down and meditate sister remia rai holy spirit is saying sit down where you are and meditate the word of god and the power of the lord will come upon you and give you breakthrough i see the fire of the lord upon everyone i when i say this i see the fire of the lord i see the crown upon everyone i see the fire of the lord upon everyone now breaking the chains in the name of jesus oh shakaba hallelujah god is extending the widening the uh, boundaries when i see when i pray when i am preaching i feel something is on my head i feel the presence of the lord i feel the fire of the lord it is the crown of the lord let everyone see their crown let everyone be confident let everyone have the faith Oh, for what they are I heard the promises it is going to happen in your life it is going to happen in your life so the grace of the lord is upon everyone hallelujah god is going to bless everyone in the name of jesus amen so uh, we will meet next week same time in this page god bless you so uh, hold on what you have and 
carry on with the crown what God has given on upon you. So God bless everyone. Jesus name. Amen.